All right, let's see if I can get you guys a better, better microphone quality. You might find that this is actually a little bit better. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to real estate sales trainer and coach. I am your very uh, tired host for tonight's episode. I wanted to share with you the numbers today. I door knocked 124 doors. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you would think that that wouldn't be too much because I'm so used to not dialing <laughs> hundreds that 124 doors. I mean, it takes a long time to figure out and, and really reset your thinking with the amount of doors. 100 doors is a lot. I, I would say it's roughly 50 doors an hour. But then again, that's not even right. It's probably like 30 to 40 doors an hour, depending on the area. I, I don't know. Let's say this morning I left at about 9, 9.30. Uh, no, I got to my first door about 10.30. Yeah, okay, yeah, 10.30. And I knocked for about an um, hour and a half. And then I went back home, you know, did nothing, and then came back around uh, and door knocked at about 6.30 to 8. So, uh, two, three hours. Okay, maybe. God, it just seems like it's so much more. I don't know. What's the matter with me, man? I'm just... It, I'm more tired. Three hours doesn't seem like a lot. I'm... I don't know. Maybe something's not right. I, I'll, I'll do the math tomorrow. I'll do it again tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. And I promise I'll pay attention. But more importantly, I, I knocked 121 doors today. And I generated four leads. Two of them are good leads. The other two were maybe I had my suspicions. I'll follow up, but I don't know. You know, who knows? But here's the big thing is the two leads. I got the names. I got the numbers. I got the email address. I've got all sorts of really good information. But man, I'm I'm oh, I'm I tired. I'm exhausted. My back hurts. My body hurts. I I might even be hallucinating. I, I'm definitely driving like crap right now. But I didn't get any calls done. <clears throat> but again, like I told you yesterday, it's eight o'clock. I want to thank one of my listeners for letting me know daylight savings matters to everybody. I don't know why I wouldn't, but. The ability to be door knocking from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., wow. Imagine that. So today I knocked in a whole new territory, uh, an area that I haven't physically walked on, stepped foot on that soil in probably 15 years. Uh, more importantly, I went to high school and junior high in that area, so technically like 27 years. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 27 years since James Festini, or the Festini name, has actively door knocked or marketed in the area. And I was just following a lead, a hunch from a friend of mine. And uh, so what it led to, one thing led to another, and I was uh, pursuing a lead. And I said, you know what, I'm going to pursue the lead, let's see how this neighborhood reacts. And nobody was following. Nobody was home, but in that nobody home session, I generated leads. I generated some really good leads. Those are where I generated those two good leads. So I came home and I picked up some, uh, I, I rethought my, my marketing process as I was out there, my door knocking propaganda. And I've got a box, a couple of cases of notepads and a couple of bags of pens with my name on it, notepads with my name on it and uh, some marketing material. So what I did is I combined all three of them into a pouch. So I've got comps on one uh, piece of paper, I've got notepads, and I have pens that are from the area. And uh, so I, I, I went out tonight with like bags of brochures. I door knocked with my man purse and, and put it all in there. and. Um, it was good. It felt good to, to drop off more than just a little slip of paper. And uh, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to adopt that if I'm going to door knock, I believe what I'm going to do from this point forward in door knocking 
is to leave pens and notepads. Pens and notepads. I think those are keepers. I was really trying to wrap my head around what do people keep? What do people throw away? Maybe they'll look at my comps. Maybe they'll throw them out. But pens and notepads, that's going to be my new thing. So um, I did lose a lot of business cards in the process of handing them out. Uh, I've got to reorder a stack of business cards, uh, some door knocking style ones, but I'm also working on getting some really high end business cards. Uh, when I interviewed, um, I'll say the name Raj Kazar of the boutique group, I was talking to him about his marketing and all that. He, um, he presented me with his business card and it was excellent. It was like a credit card. Now, I, don't, I, I think those are kind of the business cards that you, when you hand it to someone, you, you put a little string in a, in a tracking device so that if they don't ever sell with you, you can you know, track it down and get it back. Uh, but it, it, it went up to my game. And I've always said for a long time that the one thing that I do when I'm marketing and rethinking my plan and adjusting my campaigns and materials, one of the things that I tell homeowners when I'm at a presentation is that Mr. and Mrs. Seller... If there's something I see another agent doing and I like it or I think it works or it's clever or out of the box, I take it. Yeah, I make it mine. And I, what I am is a, I'm an automobile. I am a, a, a house. I am a painting where I'm not afraid of grabbing mediums and building the ultimate automobile, uh, building the ultimate painting constructing something using the finest materials I'm like a ship where I'll get the best wood and I'll, I'll I'll use my I'll get my countertops with the best marble and I'll I'll get my sails with the best materials and I'll get my my uh, rudder will be from the best metals and the electricity will be with the best coppers and you know the glass will be with the best glass and the you know, like the Titanic, where they just build everything with the best of the best in mind. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm putting together my information. And uh, today I door knocked two different territories. One was a uh, $1.5 million average price range. That's right, people. It was an average price range of about $380 a square foot. Whoa. Um, quite impressive. I mean, the houses weren't all that, but it's a very exclusive community that people like, and I have to get to know. People mention the name, so nothing better than knocking on the doors and getting to know the territories. Um, and then another area, like I said, was Placentia, where it was a place where I grew up with, I'm, I'm very familiar with, and uh, I got to know that and revisit it again and, and see that territory. So I'm just, I'm really all over the map around here is in the sense of that I'm just collecting information. I'm collecting leads. I almost got a listing yesterday. I'm still trying to close on her. I don't know what's going on, man. I, uh, uh, anyhow, um, I want to thank you guys for listening and uh, paying attention. I just still, you know, I know I announced a couple of weeks ago that I was just going to kill this feed, but there's something about the end of the night last call that I can that I can share with you at the end of the day what my efforts are with the growth and the struggle is um, it, it's just a it's an interesting thing to be a part of this real estate community and be able to share it without any opinions or feedback <laughs> it's just me telling you what I'm up against and seeing where the market changes are and what I'm doing just one agent in a very competitive marketplace looking to make lots and lots of money. So tomorrow morning, what is tomorrow? It's tomorrow Friday. Yeah. Besides, I hit my 10,000 steps. The series a liar. My Apple Watch, I think because I hold my watch in my hand because of Spotio, it's, li it's lies. It says I did 13,000 steps, that I did seven miles. All right, maybe it's true. Uh, 13,000 steps, not bad, ladies and gentlemen. I feel it. I'm feeling it. Uh, I'm going to go inside, have a scoop of ice cream, and lay down. No, I'm not. I'm going to put together marketing pieces in my business card and order them. Um, what else? So tomorrow, it is Thursday, right? Tomorrow night, i got to go to an AG's concert with an old friend uh, in uh, by Disneyland at the House of Blues. So I'm really excited about that. Follow me on Snapchat if you want to kind of follow the, the private progress or the personal life of what I'm doing. I'm having a good time. So tomorrow, uh, I am going to get up. I really, 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 really enjoyed getting up in the morning. 
uh, getting all groomed up and going out and door knocking um, in the morning. So I think tomorrow morning, my goal from this point forward is to go out and be at the door from 9 to 11. I think, I think two hours of door knocking, right, right before it starts getting hot, two hours of door knocking and then go um, into the either mobile command center or head over to the office and do maybe uh, two, three hours of calls, four hours of calls, and then go back out and door knock for two or three hours. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nine to 11, two hours. I think four hours of door knocking and uh, three hours of calls. There's a balance, man, but I'm, I'm really just, I love the door knocking. I'm really hooked. It's just so effective. You know, there, it feels like I can take action and make things happen. And even at the phones, I'm just like at the mercy of someone picking up. I have to just sit there like a like I'm you know like I'm shackled with door knocking. It's it's as fast as I can go. I'm I'm taking action, and uh, so I'm I'm really jazzed about this. Uh, and my goal is <clears throat> my goal is a hundred doors a day, and a hundred contacts a day. So what I really should be doing is going out and hitting fifty in the morning. Do my hundred calls, and fifty in the afternoon. That is the formula for a top producer. And uh, if I need to sacrifice one of those items for the sake of getting a listing or an appointment or an errand or life gets in the way, so be it. But as long as I'm able to do this, I am so motivated. Uh, but if you can't tell, I'm exhausted. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, I don't know if you get any value. Can you guys do me a favor? Guys and gals, do me do me a small favor. You know I'm always on the edge of quitting this. It's not an ego thing. I would really, really, really appreciate it if you just said thank you. However you found this, tell me that you're listening. Tell me that you appreciate it. And say thank you. I want to know. Just, just If you're watching it on YouTube, type in the comments, thank you. If you're listening to it on your iPhone, Go to Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Say thank you. Those two words. I want to see those two words in my stream in the next 72 hours. Just keep encouraging me to share this information with you. Because uh, I feel there's people out here who appreciate it. Show your appreciation by saying thank you. And thank you.